हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम टू मैपिंग सीरीज एंड टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज रिवर्स एंड स्पेशली इट इज अ महानदी रिवर देखो दोस्तों बिफोर स्टार्टिंग अवर डिस्कशन वी विल सी हाउ द क्वेश्चन आर बीइंग आस्ट सी द क्वेश्चन हियर दैट वाज आस्ट इन द 2015 कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग रिवर्स वंशधारा इंद्रावती प्रणहिता पन्ना व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर द tributaries of the godavari they are asking so they will ask us rivers and tributaries and they will also ask us important national parks that are flowing on these rivers or any projects that are being considered by the government on these rivers so we'll start to discuss about the rivers one after other so here we are going to discuss in today's topic two rivers okay. the first river is mahanadi river so what do we know about what do we need to know about the mahanadi river if it is the geography optional you will study it in a different format so know that mahanadi river is in the chatisgarh basin so primarily it is generally falling in the area of 100 plus rainfall so when you uh, divide the rainfall regions of the india so generally the regions westward of india especially in the peninsular plateau the northern part is get receiving the 100 minus rainfall and in the eastern sections you are getting the 100 plus rainfalls so generally this mahanadi basin is in the area where there is a good amount of rainfall so generally this mahanadi region has surplus river wa surplus water as well as a good amount of forest moist deciduous forest as a rain is good and also it's a tropical climate you will have the good amount of vegetation in this area so this is the concept that you need to know regarding the mahanadi river now for the prelims they'll ask you the facts so the facts like from where they originate and what kind of tributaries they have so you need to know these tributaries what are its left bank and the right bank tributaries can you see here see so if this is a mahanadi river so here like this it flows towards the north and see the various tributaries that are joining this mahanadi river before it finally joins the bay of bengal and there are also various important lakes and locations that are available uh, at its mouth region so we will look at them as well Yeah, so this rises in the highlands of the chatisgarh near the shivana in the dhamatri district dhamtari district flows through chatisgarh and odisha before discharging into the bay of bengal it is a major river in the east central india this is a general thing but these are the important facts that you need to know left bank and the right bank tributaries okay so you have the sionath jonk ib o tel and also hasdeo mand pairi shivana and tandula okay so you need to remember these things these facts because they are asking the questions and some important significant dams very important hirakud dam is also present in the mahanadi river one of the earliest and major multi purpose river pro uh, project okay then you also have tiger reserve bhitarkanika mangroves you also know this mangroves are a kind of ecosystems where they are found in the areas where there is slightly a brackish water kind of thing generally they are found in the coast areas where there is a right mix of the salty and the fresh water okay so uh, we have largest mangrove ecosystems in the sundarban and we, can, we also have the good amount of mangroves present in the bhitarkanika region okay so this is also very important fact that you need to know and there is also mahanadi water disputes that are going on between the odisha and the chatisgarh it is there everywhere and just have an fair idea but these are the two important things that you need to know okay so and this region is also known for uh, mangrove forest in the bhitarkanika which is a sanctuary for the salt water crocodiles now here you need to know what, how many kinds of crocodiles we have fresh water and the salt water so again that can be very important i think in the fresh water you have this uh, crocodile in the chambal region which is also a critically endangered species so that you also you need to know Uh, so uh, these are just general idea but those species which are critically endangered or which are being protected by the government that you need to know see them what are the various key other important aspects of the mahanadi delta i have tried to integrate the geography environment and also the current affairs so that you get the comprehensive information see here at the near near to the its mouth region you have the gahiri mata marine sanctuary this is considered as the world's largest nesting beach for the olive ridley sea turtles now here this is a turtle okay you have the uh, sea turtles as well as a fresh water turtle mention in the comment box which is the fresh water turtle that is uh, critically endangered which is generally found in the west bengal region that you need to know there are two critically endangered fresh water turtles in india mentioned in the comment box very famous important port paradi port is also present here and you know this chilika lake this is asia's 
largest brackish water lagoon a ramsar site as well so this is also a very important lake you might be knowing this thing okay and he, this region is also known for eravadi dolphins all these things are news eravadi dolphin is also very important thing that you need to know you need to know about the indus dolphin gangetic dolphin also okay so have this things idea and generally uh, th this re this region is also facing certain concerns like mangroves are getting diminished and more it is used for more for the agriculture so water problem and all climate change is happening and all these things these are relevant for the mains point of view okay so whatever the things that are relevant from the prelims point of view i have tried to cover very important facts all at one place now let's quickly move to the other important river indravati okay see here friends indravati is one of the major tri main tributary of the godavari river Okay, I am not getting into the Godavari and its tributary, but I have taken this Indravati river because it is also flowing in the Chhattisgarh region. That is the important thing that you need to know here. Okay, you can have just a fair idea, not that important uh, regarding this uh, thing, but Indravati dam, okay, it is very important, it is present in the Chhattisgarh. It is primarily used for the hydroelectric power generation. That point you try to know and there is also Indravati National Park present in the, on this banks of the Indravati river that you have to know and this Chhattisgarh is also known for gene pool of the rice 22,000 rice varieties are found here okay why this is called the Chhattisgarh because see, this Chhattisgarh it is surrounded by the ports and this region is also known for the deciduous forest good number of rivers and forests are found here as a result this is also known for the uh, red corridor means Naxal infected areas okay so that is also point that you need to keep in mind here uh, so, Chitrakoot waterfalls, very important. Chitrakoot, that's the reason I have taken this Indravati river. And it is also referred as a Niagara Falls of the India. Very important. Okay, now this uh, Indravati dam, the construction of the Indravati dam is also in the controversies because uh, while construction of this dam, you have to rehabilitate the local people. Since this is also the forest region, good amount of vegetation is there and tribal communities, local people will also reside there. And uh, while constructing dams, the, the water has to be stored, right? So you are just, what, what is the dam? You are just stopping it with some kind of, uh, some kind of wall. So now this all water has to stop at somewhere. So this will, uh, for this you need a land. For this land acquisition is required. Many forests get submerged. So that's how it gets a problem. Okay, so that is also another important point that you need to know. So I have given here, can you see here? So the Mahanadi, see here how the Mahanadi is going on, how it is Brahmani and Baitri is also joining near, nearby and here it is a Chilka Lake. And can you see here the Indravati that is uh, coming like this and finally joining the Godavari. So this kind of clarity is important. Can you see here Venganga and Varda? Okay, someday we will see again the Godavari, Venganga and, uh, and here the Pranahita, how they are merging and finally joining the Godavari. Okay, and here also you have the uh, Sabari. You just have that idea from the through the maps. Now another important river is the Vamsadara. Uh, it is also one of the um, uh, independent river. It is not tributary of either Godavari or any other river. It is independent river and it flows through the Orissa and the Andhra Pradesh region. So there is also a dispute going on between the Orissa and Andhra Pradesh regarding this Vamsadara river. Some you need to know okay major tributary okay the Nagavali uh, you have to remember. Okay now you uh, if after doing this thing, it is easy to solve this question. Consider the following rivers. Vamsadhara, Indravati, Pranahita and Pannar. Which of the above are the tributaries of the Godavari? Now, without knowing these things, just see that Vamsadhara, I know that Vamsadhara is an independent river, uh, which is not the, uh, the tributary of the Godavari. Okay, so I will eliminate the four. Uh, then, uh, sorry, I will eliminate the one option. So once I eliminate the one option, so I uh, it becomes easy for me now I want you to comment this thing in the answer uh, section. Comment section, uh, present, please present the answer. Okay. So I'll, I will provide this PDF in the Telegram channel. Okay, guys. Hope you guys have liked the content. Uh, please uh, like, follow and share it with your friends. Take care, guys. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.